ICC, that's the venue. The Braba Boxing Academy in partnership with Braba Promotions, Supersport and Premier Hotels. Now we're going to be having a nice fight. It is being dubbed the local derby. It is between Sangin Woza, Cool Tiger. He's the Eastern Cape featherweight champion. He'll be up against Zombie Sabati. Look at all those Coach fans out here, Peter. <laughs> Brilliant, <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Those are fans waiting at the door. Zolisa Bati vs. Sangi Ngosa. Zolisa Party, Brian, there is got a very, very interesting uh, nickname, 16 Blows. I don't know whether it's like after 16 Blows he's done. And that's all he needs. Maybe after or 16 blows, you <laughs> done. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's what he's trying to say. 23 years old as opposed to 28. So, but he is a bit older. Debut 2019 to 18. Right. is similar. And there's a team fights, eight, seven wins. Well, it's a good record. Seven fights, five wins. We've got two guys hotly contested here in most departments in tail of the tape on to our next bout and our commentators talking about the excitement here it is the battle of the nations fantastic so far off to a local derby as uh, our commentators have dubbed it it's our fourth bout fought at featherweight over eight rounds. Here are your boxers as they make their way into the ring. Uzolisa Bati. Uzolisa Bati lost his uh, last fight that was in May this year. Uh, in this very same ring, Brian, he lost against Asanda King. <laughs> He lost by unanimous decision over 12 rounds. Yeah, and we said it's interesting, Brian. His nickname is 16 Blows. But is it like yes, all he needs is 16 Blows? He's 28 years of age. And uh, Kangelani Jack is his trainer. Losing two fights in his last five bouts. Seven fights. He's never been stopped and rounds 42 rounds. And yeah, Brian, as we said earlier on, we made a mistake about that lady who was in the ring. Uh, we just been told that uh, uh, the lady's name is Mongile Matiti. She's the sister of Ayanda Matiti and she's also the CEO of uh, Spashi Promotions. Yeah, absolutely. She's a promoter so in apologies to in, that. Yeah, she's a promoter in, in her own right, right? Now we know who she is. Yeah. And of course, that's great inside information we got from our friend Lox. Thank you so much. And Brian, if this man can punch as well as he can dance, then you are we're in for a big treat. Zolisa Bati. Lots of energy in this ring. And now, let's welcome Sam Ingalls. He's 23 years of age, Brian, nicknamed the Cool Tiger. And as we said, he is the Eastern Cape and featherweight champion, Sangye Ngoza. Eight fight, one win coming by way of knockout. It's like two KOs. And uh, unfortunately, the fight that he lost, he lost by KO. But he is the Eastern Cape featherweight champion, Sange Ngoza. Judge Mbini, Judge Mkile and Judge Mbini. 
Takani. Fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 56.55 kilograms. He is fighting in the red and white front. This is his fight record. Seven fights, five wins, four by a knockout, two losses. It is Zolisa, 16 blows, Baki. And in the red corner, he weighed in at 56.75 kilograms. He's fighting in the pink and white trunks with blue trim. This is his fight record. Eight fights, seven wins, two via knockouts. One loss, it is Sange Cool Tiger Is that? Let's have a good and clean fight. I'll pay my coins all time. Touch gloves, good luck for both of you. That's it. Touch gloves, and good luck to both of you. That's Revery Simpiwe Taiba. Okay, okay, okay. So, round number one. Okay, next eight round bat. Schedule fight round that is in the featherweight division. Who wants this one? And another South Pole versus an uh, Orthodox boxer, Brian. Maybe after this fight, Brian will know why they call him uh, 16 blows. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe he's going to be 17 blows after this fight. Well, we'll see why call, they're calling the man in the pink, Cool Tiger as well. Oh, Cool Tiger is getting dead, and he's gone down. Yeah, he's gone down, Brian, because he touched uh, the canvas uh, with his glove, and, and officially that's supposed yes. to be a knockdown. Absolutely. Wow, what a fast start, yeah. But he is wasting no time, Brian. But he has started a great fight, yeah, in the shades of Adrianda. But uh, Sango seems to have weathered the storm. Brian is coming back with the big punches of his own. Ah, uh, these guys, Brian, they're not wasting any time, Brian. I don't think they want to hear the eighth and final round. Yeah, I don't think they care about the eighth round right now. Bombs coming in from both these fighters. Wow! What a right hand. Yeah, Sango, Sango, Sango Sambachi. seems to be uh, Sango, hurt, man. Brian is oh. holding for dear life. But she seems to have a brilliant right hand every time he throws it. He hurts his man. He goes up. Yeah, Brian. Oh, no, he's just getting the ball of Brian. Oh. And Gorsa doesn't like the right hand coming in from Bachi. And I don't know whether he's still cold, Brian. He's still cold, maybe in Gaza. But uh, look what Patty is doing to him. Brian is just really hitting him from pillar to post. Can but he you... recover, Brian? In Gaza, can he recover to come back? Yeah, I, th I think I think he will. He's a good enough fighter. I mean, he's had se seven wins in his eight fights, so I reckon he'll be back. Uh, he's opted to fight fire with fire now, Brian. He's been hurt. Uh, instead of now uh, trying to move back and uh, trying to uh, survive, he's decided to fight fire with fire. Yeah. Well, that sometimes works, Peter. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> exactly. Go to war with them. Sango, I've always said a good boxer beats a good fighter, but these two guys are fighters, so gotta go to war. And they've come to fight, Brian. They're trying to make this thing a war. And this fight is in the featherweight division. It's scheduled for eight rounds. It's amazing how big these featherweights look. You consider them now compared to the junior bantamweights and the junior flyweights. You know, they look so big. They look so big, Brian. Yes, I don't know how these guys really are. And then it's 57 kilos. 57 kilos, unbelievable. That's Mr. Cool. In Kosa's corner, Minyaka Sichata, also a former fighter himself. Now, this, this is what happened, Brian. Look at that. 
Nice right and left uppercut uh, from Patti. Well, look that's at that. The right hooks from the south pole stance who are working. Yeah, nearly knocked off uh, his challengers, uh, his, his opponent's mouth guard. Nah, he was really, really hen handing big, big punches at his opponent, uh, Patti, against Ngoza. Let's see what happens now in round number two. Gotta say, these fights are brilliant. Angoza seems to be slipping a little bit there, Brian, with his punches. And he catches a nice straight left there from uh, Bati. Well, Angoza's got to come and put it on now in round two. But he's getting tagged big time by the southpaw. And, and Brian is coming up with the same mistakes. Fundamental mistake, he's, a, he's taller, he's supposed to be uh, fighting on the outside and keeping his opponent at the end of his punches. He's not doing that, he's trying to uh, to exchange uh, with the shorter man and with an obviously a bigger puncher. Oh, yeah, he's not matching him in power at this stage. In Gosa. Coming up, Brian and uh, Bati is cut above uh, his right eye. Brian is right, right eye. And he's not happy about the cut. Yes, he's trying to wipe off the blood uh, from his uh, uh, face. That blood coming into the, his eye. He's struggling to, to see out of that right eye. And Gosa is coming back now. Uh, he's coming wow, it's back. a good fight. Yeah, he's coming back big time in Gosa. He clearly lost uh, the first round. And he's been told by his corner that, look, you either going to take this man out or he's going to take you out. Yeah. You decide what you want to do. So, Mr. 16 blows. Party cut a puff uh, his right eye. Yeah, he's not happy about that cut on the right eye. But it's bothering him. The cool tiger now, Brian, is anything but cool right now. Ngoza. And Ngoza, the man in pink, called the Cool Tiger. Is looking good in round two. He's managed to cut his opponents apart from the right eye. And he's clearly winning this second, this second round, Brian. Yeah, it's amazing. He's just coming. He's a different fighter to the first round. And Gosa is looking really good here in round two. Yeah. Can you say really Bati lost his opportunity, Brian, in the first round? Yeah, he had an opportunity. But Ngosa is a good fighter, so he's coming, he's taking it well. Uh, that blood now ripping into the eye and hindering this Bati's side. And the last thing you need, Brian, in a ring is to it's not being able to see your opponent because it's got blood uh, dripping into your eye. You know, for some guys it bothers him more than others and for... Yeah. He looks like it, he doesn't like it, but she... Kangalani Jack. Kangalani Jack is a good trainer from these parts of the world. And Brian, from your knowledge, what is the best way to, to stop uh, a bleeding from the eye? Well, the, what, what's legal in the corner is the adrenaline one in 1,000, it's called. All right. So you're allowed to take the adrenaline one in 1,000, and then you put that on an earbud, and you put that into the cut. That stops the bleeding. Yes. And then you need to, to put pressure on the cut, and then and then put Vaseline. Yes, but now what, what, what I see from most uh, trainers, Brian, is just to go in and plonk a big Vaseline smear on, yeah. on the, on the, on the A lot of the trainers eye. need to do courses on, on, on proper how to stop a how cut. How to stop a cut, yes. A lot, of, a lot of trainers don't know how to stop a cut. So adrenaline is allowed in the in the in the in the, in the, in the yes. ring. Uh, the, the one in one thousand adrenaline is, is legal. Yeah. And that stops the bleeding. So you put the a bit of that in and then you, you squeeze the eye closed and then you put the Vaseline. Uh, well let's hope that Kangelani Jack, the trainer of party, knows all that.
So it's obviously not just about slapping Vaseline on. Yes. And that's what a lot of uh, trainers do. They just uh, slap Vaseline and hope that you know, it yeah. will stop the bleeding. It is still bleeding that uh, cut by a powerful but it's the right eye. Karan goes Sango, but the referee says that was a slip. It was a push, in fact, it was not a, a knockdown. And the referee for this part, uh, Simpiwe Kaeba. Sango and Gose has come back nicely from the second round. That Cuts obviously inspired him. Oh, good left hook. Complaining about a low blow now is Bachi. Yeah, he complained about a low blow and as he did that, uh, he caught a nice left hook uh, from uh, Sange. So, uh, the referee has got to give him about up to five minutes. He didn't need five minutes. He just needed about uh, 15 seconds. He's back. Yeah, I Fighting. suppose it's, it's a good sport if you do get hit low and then you don't even take the five minutes. You're really a good sport. Oh, gets tagged now with a big left hook. Brilliant stuff here from Ingosa in round number three. Now, Brian now is really pasting his opponent in Gosa. And he's targeting that uh, right eye, Brian. Yeah. Just targeting it. It looked like in Gaza was just a bit cold in the first round because since then he's been brilliant. Yeah, we did say that uh, probably Patti lost his uh, opportunity in the first round. Maybe he should have stopped his opponent in the first round, otherwise he's going to get stopped himself. Yeah, it's a new fight from round two and round three. And it all belongs to that man in pink. In Gaza. Sanke and Gosa. Yeah, the cool the tiger. Cool tiger. Yeah. And he looks like a cool tiger now. As but he goes about his business. Yeah, and but, but what I don't like that night is he's not using his uh, height and, and reach advantage, Brian. He's just you know, trying to exchange punches with uh, the shorter opponent. But maybe it feels like it's working for him. And if maybe it's working for him, why not? Well, that's, he, he's got to come and fight now. He, he knows no other way is Bachi. But he's getting outsmarted, outpunched, and outworked on the outside by a very good fighter in Sange, Cool Tiger in Gosa. Yes, Brian, he's the Eastern Cape featherweight champion. But his title is not on, on the line uh, this afternoon. Sange, Cool Tiger, and Gosa. Three rounds down. Now is that the adrenaline you're talking about, Brian? Yes, that would I would imagine that they got adrenaline on there. Wow, great stuff. Now this is action from the last round. Look how close now uh, Patty is coming to, uh, towards his opponent. Catching his opponent there, there with the with the left, straight left. So we see the crowd loving it. Oh, they love it. And as you said, this is all brought to you by Kaaba Boxing Academy in partnership so with Kaaba Boxing, Super Sport, your world of champions, and East London Premier Hotels. Mama. Battle of the Nations here in East London, Buffalo City, Metropolitan. Mama. Great Mama. afternoon of boxing. And this other one, this one plan is called a local derby because it's two uh, local boxers. Yeah, and there's a lot of local derbies in this part of the world. Yeah, Sange, Cool Tiger and Goza is from Umtata. It's up against the zone. It's a system close. Bati. Bati cut above his right eye. I think it's courtesy of uh, Sange and Goza's uh, educated <laughs> left, Brian. He's just oh. throwing that left, sticking it out all the time. Peter, I was told, doing the damage. I was told something interesting by a reliable source. Yeah. That boxing is more popular in East London than football. 
I yes, mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm not surprised. I, I, I would have also kept the same, Brian, and I can yes. believe that. Yeah, I found that quite interesting. Yeah. That, 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 the young guys love boxing even more than football. That's, that just shows you that they are big boxing is in this part of the world. No, they love their boxing. It's like a religion in this part of the of the, of, of, yeah, of, of yeah. the country, Brian. Don't go to church, you go to the boxing gym. <laughs> exactly. You see small children, you see old people, old ladies. They're all crazy about their boxing. Oh, nice left there for Mabati. Yeah, better from Bati. Bati's got to get inside now. So uh, what, Bati, what Bati's got to do now, Peter, he's, yeah. got, he's got to start bullying his man. He can't stand on the outside because he's going to lose this fight. He's got to push him backwards and bully him. Yes. It's doing much better in this round today. Uh, in the last round, I thought he was going to get stopped. But he's come back. Uh, but Brian is still... That eye still bothers him because they can't manage to uh, to stop the bleeding. But it, it's not really in a bad place. Yeah. Uh, it's on the on the on the he's, outside he's of the eye. On the outside of the eye, so yeah. it's, it's not a bad place really. But it's bothering him. But it shouldn't really bother him that much. But back to the action here. This guy called the Cool Tiger, Sange, Cool Tiger, in Corsa. He's really fighting a good fight since round two. Good right hook. Good right hook there, Brian. Bachi. So, Brian, in your in your in your career, how many times did you get cut? Uh, did you have to really work out uh, problems with uh, with, uh, with with your with cuts upon uh, your eyes? You know, with, with, the, with the smaller guys, uh, you pick up a lot of cuts because there's a lot of elbows, a lot of head, head butting. Yes. So I started cutting in about my eighth professional fight three. Wow. So by the time I became a world champion in my, in my 20s, my 20s in amount of fights, I'd already had uh, a very soft uh, eyebrows, you know? Yeah. So cutting was a big thing in, in my career, but I, in, as a world champion, I actually employed guys just to work in the corner as cut men. To yeah. do no, nothing else but work on the cuts. And the scars above your eye, do they, do they strength, do they tap in your eyes, or they make it weaker in your next no, fight? It, it really gets weaker because also when you, you know the, all the scar tissue when when you have all the stitches, your eyes get weaker. And this part is a KO ratio 57% and win ratio 71%, 88% uh, round percentage. That's a uh, party day in your picture. But it's something you have to live with in the fight game. Peter, his it, yes. cuts, it uh, comes with the territory. It just comes with the territory. You know, right? it's, uh, you've got to win fights with cuts. You've got to have good corner men working on your cuts. That's really par for the course in, in the fight game. In the He's fight getting game. a cut. Yeah, you know, must know that you can get cut. And it can happen anyway, from a punch, from a headbutt, from an elbow. A lot of the times it's more the elbow and the headbutt than, than the punch. Really? Yes. Wow. Round number five. Round number five. This one is in the featherweight division. Brown is over eight rounds. Sanjay Kul Tiger. Goza. Well, so the white and uh, pink trunks. So far I've got Goza ahead on points after four rounds. No, no, exactly, Brian. He just uh, happens to be uh, slightly ahead of his opponent. Zolisa, 16 blows Barty. It's a very, very competitive fight, Brian. Big yeah, right it's a good there. fight. Yeah, it's a good fight, Brian. These guys have come to fight. Good punches coming in now from Bachi. Ah, uh, but Sangyan goes is going nowhere, Brian. Standing right there in front of him and saying, uh, you'll also have to feel my punches. Yeah, the, the difference here is that uh, Bachi's not landing. And Ngoz is landing much more punches. Yeah, the cleaner punch is really coming from uh, Ngoza. Yeah, like that. Like that the left hook. Oh, 
Oh, nice punches from the team. Yeah. He's not out of it yet, but by long shot. So Lisa Bacci. Yeah, we are in the second half of the of the fight, right? Round number five. Oh, he's coming with that right hook from the south post stones. Is Bacci? Yeah, he's doing what he was doing in the first round, Brian. Yeah, can he do enough to win this round? One minute, twelve seconds left in round number five. Big right hand down the middle, coming closer. Yeah, but he is really, really fighting well in this round. Now he gets a straight right hand there from Sangyan Goza. Yeah, but he's competitive in this round. He is, right? Just when we thought that uh, he was out of it, he's come back. And he seems to have gotten used to, to that uh, blood coming out of his uh, right eye. Yeah, I don't think it's bothering him any, anymore. We don't oh, think so. Yeah, maybe just decided to ignore it, Brian, and said, you know what, it's bleeding, so what? Let me just concentrate on my punches. Well, that's exactly the attitude you have to have, you know, if your eye's bleeding, it's too bad. Yeah. You've got to keep going. Oh, good oh. fight from both punches, yes. both fighters. Oh. Beautiful exchange of punches from both boxers. Uh, and the crowd is appreciating this, Brian. They love it. Now we've seen some fantastic boxing and lots of work rate, lots of good punches thrown here today. And and not warriors of oh, note. Yeah, it's a local derby, and it's living up uh, to the hype. Okay, that right hand there from uh, Bati. And now, see, Ngoza now coming back. Big right hand. But Bati says, I'm still there. <laughs> that guy's taking it serious. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Luckily, there's no one around him, Brian. Otherwise, he could have a... <laughs> Lucky in his case, nobody's going to hit back. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He's shadow boxing. Shadow boxing, shadow boxing is a bit easier than actually getting punched in the face. 100%. Seven's out. Round number six. Round number six. Sixth round of this featherweight contest scheduled for eight. Sanga, Cool Tiger, Ngosa against Solisa Pachi. Uh, Ngosa, the tall of the two boxers in the white and the pink trunks. No one of these boxers, Brian, uh, prepared to give an inch. Oh, that was a low blow. Was a low blow or body punch? Well, he doesn't. Either he does. I think he's getting hitting low, or he doesn't like the body punches. Yes, because now he's, he's, he's really reacting. But now look how he comes back now with a straight left. That's party for you. That's a good fight. Two good warriors going toe to toe. One for you, one for me in round yeah. number six here in East London. Yeah. Yeah, exchanging big, big big punches. Jab is beautiful now from the Cool Tiger. Nkosa, the man in the pink shorts. Oh, big right hand from Nkosa, and he hurts his man. Fights it well, though. Yeah. He's Bachi, and he fights back. And he's fighting back, Brian, but he's being hammered. So that's a big right hand there from Goza. Oh, there's a big right hand from Goza and a big left hand from Bachi and a big right hook from Bachi. And the crowd is appreciating this, Brian. They're screaming for their men, they're singing. Oh. 
Well, but she has shown that he wants to be there. Still got that bloody right eye, but he's coming forward. Yeah, he's just ending not out of it, Brian. He might be getting uh, hit, but now look how oh. he's coming back. Uh, Party. Very, very tough. Casual uh, score court, Peter Lepa. <laughs> it's looking very, very tough, bro. <laughs> it's uh, looking tough, but uh, out ready to go with Sango goes. I think he's, uh, yes. it could be like one or two points ahead. No, Sango and goes. I also got it slightly ahead. So don't go away. There's more fights to come. Yeah, this one, Brian, uh, is between Jake Ampara, Aka. La Mambino, Bambino, that's the man in your picture there. Jake Ampa Amparo is going to be up against um, Tokozisi Naka. Naka, a South Point, you can see there in this, the, the picture. Warming up, it is an international mini flyweight. It will be over eight rounds. But for now, really, Brian, look at the, look at the crowd enjoying this. This Round boxing seven. match. There's those young guys I spoke about that prefer boxing to football. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and also to chess, Brian, because it's Sunday today, but they're all here. <laughs> yeah, no, no. there's boxing. Church, unfortunately, sad to say, Church has got to come second to boxing in this town. And, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Round number seven, Brian scheduled for eight, the penultimate round. But he seems to be coming out strong. Oh, well, he's fighting now. He's Bachi. He knows he could be slightly behind on points with two rounds to go. Yeah, he's, he's coming up with a big punches of his own. And remember, he's a South Pole. So he's a powerful punch. He's, a left hand. Yeah, Sango is picking up and trying to make sure that uh, he's at the end of his punches. But now again, as I said, Brian, yes, Sange, well, he's standing right in front of his opponent, Brian. He's just not trying to use his reach advantage. Yeah, but she does well when he gets inside. Yes. When he gets his range, he closes the gap. He does well. On the outside, he's getting outsmarted. But when he gets inside, he does well, Bachi. And on the other side, in Goza, uh, it's supposed now to be keeping his opponent out on the outside. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough fight to even judge. from both these fighters yeah, in round number seven. Yeah, I think he's had his opponent, but he has had his opponent, and he must take this opportunity plan either to stop him or at least to drop him to win this round 10-8, uh, and he'll be back in the fight. Brilliant punches from Bachi yeah, in round number seven. Uh, he's a warrior, Brian. He mustn't show that he's worried about the eye, he must just keep going. And that's exactly what he's doing, Brian. He's keep on going. He's put his opponent on the back foot. Well, he's winning this round, is Bachi. He definitely. And if this fight's close, Bachi's won a round. Now, if he can win this round party in the next one, it's going to be very, very difficult now to uh, to decide to who the winner is. Yes. Good right hand from Ngosa. Yeah. Ngosa with the 10 seconds remaining in the round. It's coming strong. It's 
Uh, he's finishing strong now, Ngoza. Yeah, very good run for Zolisa Pacha. Now look at that left hand there from uh, Bati. 16 blows, Brian. He found his range and his distance pretty well in round number seven as Bachi. Now so we're going to the eighth and final round. Eighth and final round, Brian. If we wait it out now, why he scored 16 blows by now, Brian? We still need another round now to decide. So. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> A look, slight look of concern there from those fans. This is a local derby uh, between uh, Cool Tiger, Sagan Goza, against uh, Baji, 16 blows, Zolisa. Run number eight, Brian. Yeah. Very, very close fight. But again, uh, we think that uh, Ngoza might be like a point or two ahead. Yeah, I think I think he's still slightly ahead. So, but he needs, needs to win this one uh, very, very convincingly. A loose tape there on the right hand of uh, Bati. Oh, now he comes up with a big right, forcing it. He goes up to hold for dear life. Has he hurt his opponent, Brian? Yeah, good punches again from Bachi. He's hurt his man a lot in the fight, which is going to make it a very close one to score. Yeah, that left hand of his, Brian, it's, it's, it's troubling Ngoza. Ngoza is unsteady on his, on his legs. Ngoza doesn't like that left hand. Boom, he bombs that left hand again. It's Bachi. Well, what's it going to be if this goes the distance? Got about uh, one minute and 30 seconds left in the last round. Wow. He's finishing in style, Bachi. Absolutely, Brian. 16 blows. As I say, I don't know after this part, maybe it's going to become 17 blows. I think he's waiting for this last run for those 16 blows. <laughs> yeah, he's fighting well this run. Oh, no, he's winning this round, definitely. He's hitting his opponent, Brian. But can he put him down, at least? Score and knockdown. Yeah, the scoring is going to be interesting in this fight. With 40 seconds to go in this featherweight fight. These guys have put it all on the line. Uh, scheduled for eight rounds, and it looks like it will go eight rounds. With uh, 25 seconds left uh, in the fight. Big left hand from Bunty. And he's, yeah. so, he's so good to him, Brian. Yeah, he's so bad to him, but he, he can't show bad now. He's got to try and get the job over with. Because he might still be behind on points. Uh, but he's trying to run away, round. yes. I mean, he's won the last two rounds easily. What a fight! What a fight! Yo, I think that. The last two rounds makes it close. It makes it very, very close, Brian. It can go either way. Just when we thought that uh, Sankim Goza was going to win this one on points, he was cruising to a uh, points win. Maybe uh, I'm going to go also judges quickly back and make it a draw first. Exactly. <laughs> make it a draw. I think a draw really would be uh, a, a draw a would be kind of a fair decision. Yes, a fair decision, Brian. Yes. But of course, it doesn't work like that. You've got three judges 
neutral judges sitting around the ring and they see the fight like they want to so doesn't matter what we see we are unofficial on our scorecards but i think a draw would have, would be nice uh, and those judges brian mbini Nkile and matakani those were the uh, three judges uh, scoring this spot uh, at ringside and this is how the last round went brian look at those Big punches coming from Bati. If, if Bati does lose, that's because he, he, he put his he took his foot off the pedal in the middle round. In the middle round, if that's right. Loses. Yes, definitely. In the middle round. Yes. Came out strong in the last two rounds. Very strong in the last two. Yeah, but we don't know whether that was enough for him now to uh, to finish the fight. He might have left it a bit late. Yeah. But uh, we think that uh, a draw would be a fair, fair result. Split decision win for Bati. Good win for Bati. Yeah, we are. We are we, that dance. Yeah, we cannot quarrel with that, Brian. Split decision well, for Bati. You know, those last two rounds. Two rounds, exactly. He, he won so well. Yes. So he turned it around brilliantly. Well done, team. And I was like, at the point, right? Look at the judges' scorecards. The right man won. Yeah, the right man won. And if you're dancing, Brian, this is how he came into the ring. He said, if he could fight as well as he could dance, then he'd win this fight. And he's done exactly that. <laughs> yeah, he's a good fighter. It was a nice fight. Yeah, it was a nice local daddy, they call it. 